it's Sunday morning and I'm stuck in the mud and I'm parked by the chair. I'm stuck! I'm well and truly stuck there. After we found the goodies. Yeah, it's Clod Hopper's rally. Happy days. Get a push later after we've found stuff. Just catching up with Caroline. She's on the first day out with the Simplex. First ever coin. Caroline's on the silver, well done. And uh, I see you've, are you rocking a shower cap on the Simplex today? Yes. <laughs> is, is that a tip that your friend it gave you? It, it was the month of March. Yes. Fair play. Well, you're off to a flying start yeah, anyway. Yeah, wonderful. Well done. Right, I've got this mortar here. It's really heavy. I can't show you at all because if I move, it might explode. Well, actually, it's just the uh, fin bit. But uh, can, can you all stand back now and clear the area? Come on, let's go. <laughs> right, well, we've only been going just over an hour and this is the second mortar fin. So we will, we will all joking aside, we will have to keep an eye on anything ordnance wise. If you're ever on a rally and you're not sure what something is in the ground and it looks like it might go bang, stop, stop what you're doing, go and get the rally organiser. Yeah. What was your name again, bud? Gary. Well done on an interesting find, Gary. Thank you. Hope and what, what machine are you on today? Uh, 400. He's on his uh, Ace 400, happy days. I got a warm blank copper earlier. This is the uh, Georgian 5th, I think. Uh, half pence. I'm running it with the small coil again today to reach its altar 71. And I'm on fast at the minute because it was a bit trashy by the church. Still pulled that out from about six or seven inches down, so that's all right. Give me a nice signal before I go into the uh, pasture. And he's got this uh, complete crotal bell, so give it a bit of a clean light, only probably be able to get it ringing again. Well done, Glenn, on the crotal bell. And what's this beast you're on today? Is this the Equinox? Equinox, yeah. With the, what's that, 15 inch coil? Not a bad, beast of a coil. Not a bad setup there, mate. Right, we, we were out um, on a rally last week and some of the dog walkers were walking past, they got chatting to us and they said they had a small small hold in nine acres. Well, that's part of today's rally, we're actually on it. And uh, I've put the route assaulter in deep mode, I've just been playing with a few programs. I've got this uh, 1884 silver sixpence. I got it about 8 inches deep I think, so the deep programs pulled out a small coin at a nice depth. And it's my first silver of the year, and what I'm going to do if he doesn't mind... You don't mind being no, on camera, that. Mark? Thank you very much. That's Mark's thinking of getting into detecting, aren't you mate? Yeah, yeah. So That's he's right. got his first nice coin to start his collection. Brilliant. Cool, that, that'll, uh, that'll whet his appetite. and. Uh, I told him to go out and buy a simplex if he's after after starting. All right, Mark. Cheers, hope, thank you. hope it brings you luck. I don't know you're on the way. <laughs> Any more from there. you guys? Just catching no, up with Sam, and Another she's little, got this uh, beautiful right <laughs> uh, <laughs> Roman <laughs> denarii. That is in absolutely <laughs> stunning condition. And is it is it true that you found this with your husband's machine or your I partner's did. machine? I did. I nicked it today. And he's, yep. no, he's not even used it yet? He, he probably won't ever use it again. <laughs> well, he doesn't need to, Sam. You're doing it all for him. Well done. Well done. Oh, come on now, you lot. Get my car out so I can go and find some cool stuff. My little car's stuck down there and we've just got two out, haven't we, Ant? Yeah, we're, we're doing we're doing a good job. So what, what are these doing? Know, I'm early, can't rush. It's over the now, it's better, isn't it? Yeah, but we've got to get my car out. Yeah, man. Just zoom. What's your getting dressed in? <laughs> zoom in a bit then, mate. Right? Zoom in and keep it still just for like 10 seconds. With my hands, you're joking, aren't you? Yeah, that's a Lizzie, isn't it? Nice Lizzie. It looks funny there at the top of the shield. Yeah. Four stars across the top. That's lovely, that is. Beautiful. Happy there guys. you go, Stevie. This is why send them two over now for us, please. Yeah, right, yeah. This is why I can't get my car out the mud, because you're all looking at this, Ahmed. Uh, Prioritising, mate. Who got it? 
Noodle man. Noodle master. Noodle master. Well done. Well done, mate. On got, the hammered. Got us all on the pot noodles and then got yourself on the hammered. Well, <laughs> Don't mess about. Well, my car's out the mud now. We got it out along with two others. When I got that sixpence on the orchard bit, I walked down for something to eat and to get my car out. Left my headphones in this orchard somewhere, somewhere behind me. Let's go and see if we can find them. I've had a look all over here, but I was on this side. But I think I've just seen something that jogs my memory. The landowner bagged a bit of dog crap. And I'm sure that's where we were. By, the, by this path from the dog crap, I should find my headphones somewhere. I was on this side. Ah, I was on this side. Oh, happy days. So we got the plough fields today. That's one landowner, and we got this old orchard. That's another landowner, Mark, who we gave the sixpence to. But he did say that nobody's been down here today because they just stayed on the orchard. But there's a little patch of green over there with some geese on, and this bit that hasn't been done. So I'm going to do that because the landowner and the rally organiser said I could. See if we get uh, any pre deaths or more silvers. Well, it's the last hour of the rally just now. I've come away from uh, the orchard owner's uh, little backyard. It was just a bit too noisy. It's just nice to be out. I know everybody says it when he ain't found much, but at least I got my first silver today. I got me uh, 1884 silver sixpence. Gave it to Mark, the orchard owner. I've just seen him again, he said. His wife is absolutely buzzing with that coin. That's a uh, run of the mill coin for me. It's in nice condition. I could have stuck it in my little coin collection, but it's always nice to just make other people happy because it ain't our land. It's always the landowners or somebody's. I'm just happy being out. And uh, I'm going to have a fag, I know I shouldn't. But I am having one, and then I'm going to just nip down, I'll have 20 minutes round by where the denarii come up. Might get something, might not. But yet again, this is my first dig of 2020. See me on my last dig of 2019, I wish you all the best. Well, I don't get the biggest views on YouTube, because I, I just do it all my own way, don't I? I don't, I don't have any rules, don't follow any rules, I just have a laugh. I have a laugh and some people enjoy it. So to everybody who enjoys my videos, let's hope that 2020 is the one where your dreams come true. And mine. Alright kids, see you later. Be lucky. It's in a trap there, it's a Nissan Micra. It got stuck this morning there, but we'll see if we can get it out without getting stuck, eh? Should be alright on the path. Just go and say goodbye to all my Claudine Heart of England mates. And uh, see if we can get it out without getting stuck. Eh? Oh, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh, it's not a trap there. Oh, it's sideways. Oh, it's sideways again. Oh, it's getting there though. It's getting there. Oh, it's muddy here. Oh, it's muddy there. This is, this is Pete Ferry boat, and he reckons his white ferry boat isn't stuck. We'll, we'll, we'll keep you updated, folks. <laughs> Come on, white van man. Spin those wheels, spin them. Oh, he's on a bit of grass, isn't he? Boo. Boo. <laughs>